important place to start today, and that's D-Day for one of the most famous faces in Korean politics. Former President Lee myung bak has appeared before prosecutors for questioning as a suspect over a slew of corruption allegations, including bribery, embezzlement, and a long list of other illegal actions. Let's speak to our Oh Jung-hee, who has been following developments today at Seoul Central District Prosecutor's Office. So, Jung-hee, if you wouldn't mind, just give us a recap of the moment Lee myung bak known to most people here in Korea as just MB arrived there. Yes, Mark, ex-president Lee Myung-bak appeared here at Seoul Central District Prosecutor's Office roughly two and a half hours ago after an eight-minute ride from his residence in southern Seoul. He arrived here slightly ahead of the scheduled time. Uh, just as we expected, before getting into the building, Lee stopped by the photo line in front of the office to deliver a brief message to the nation. Take a listen. I'm sorry to have caused troubles amid the economic difficulties and the great security situation. And I send my apologies to my supporters and to people experiencing difficulties. I have lots to share with people as the country's former president, but I know that I should keep my message short. In history, this should be the last such trouble. I again express my apologies. Just to give you a brief recap, Lee faces roughly 20 allegations in total, including bribery, creating slush funds, and abuse of power. Over the past few months, state prosecutors have questioned numerous figures surrounding Lee, including his family members like brothers, nephew, and son, as well as presidential secretaries who worked with him during his term. And all that was to close in on Lee today, who was summoned as the main culprit of the charges I've just run through. But Lee's been firmly denying the allegations calling the investigation against him and his aides political retaliation from the current Moon Jae-in administration. And jung just walk us through what to expect in the coming hours and given the number of charges he faces and his status as a former president, we understand this is going to be a long, drawn-out affair. That's right, Mark. More than two hours have passed since uh, former President Lee myung bak made his way into the prosecution building. And so it's expected he already met with senior prosecution officials and got into the actual interrogation process. Lee is known to be interrogated on the 10th floor in the exact same room where Park geun was questioned. The entire questioning will be video recorded as well. Throughout the day, there's a possibility Lee could be cross-interrogated with some of his former aides, including a couple of then-presidential secretaries and his asset manager, as they've been quite cooperative for the prosecution and provided detailed testimonies. Because Lee is the nation's former president, prosecutors aim to wrap up their questioning today and will not call him in anymore, which is why we expect the questioning to stretch late into the night. The interrogation itself could end before midnight, but most don't think Lee will be able to leave before tomorrow morning because uh, after prosecutors take a look through their interrogation records throughout the night. Also, we'll probably have to wait until the weekend to see whether the prosecution will seek an arrest warrant for the former president, but uh, there is a high possibility that will happen if Lee continues to deny the charges against him. Mark.